All right, everyone, I got to give it to you straight here. If, you know, I wasn't honest, then, you know, I wouldn't have my integrity. The CompSafe practice exams are absolute garbage. They are the worst predictors of how you'll do on this exam. I've seen people swing up to 100 points between their last practice exam and the real test. And I honestly think that if you're going to use that as a gauge of how you're going to perform on the Comlex, please do not do that. Um, I know a lot of schools require you to take the say before you go sit for the complex exam, but other than that, do not use it for any test prediction capabilities. I also agree. I tell my tell people when I'm talking about this, I'd say they're pretty unreliable. Um, however, thinking through that after you said that, for me, they were they were within fifty to hundred points of my score, and you're like, well, it's a huge variation. But the it's a standard deviation, my friends. Yeah, but okay, so the complex is out of a thousand points, right? With like a credit score. And although I actually don't know if credit card score goes up to a thousand, mine's not there. But you, the USMLE only goes up to what, 280? Yeah. Two or something. 300. 300. Theoretically. Three, goes, theoretically up to 300. Haven't yeah. seen that before. It's never, no one's ever gotten that high. Um, but with that being said, so let's say you drop your standard deviation. You Let's say you swing 100 points on the complex, right? So that's a 10% swing from your practice test to your real test. So the equivalent would be a 30 point, actually that's pretty big, a 30 <laughs> point swing on your USMLE. What? Can you imagine? <laughs> okay, that's pretty <laughs> that bad. That could be going from average to failing the exam. It, like you could fail the exam. All so, right. I mean, huge, right. huge variation. I love you. I love you, the NBOME. Uh, you know, don't take away my license, but ultimately uh, not a good predictor. All right. You swung me. There's a there's gonna be a common theme on this channel is that the beginning of the video, Dr. Maxfield is gonna have a <laughs> well held belief, and by the end of the video, I'm gonna be so convincing that he's gonna change his opinion almost in every video. You'll see this happen consistently. Nah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, hit the for bell, notifications, hit the bell, leave a comment, do those things. Uh you know, if you need anything, if you have any questions, please drop a comment. We're glad to we're glad to respond and help you in any way that we can. Um, we honestly we do this for you. We we really just want to help you guys achieve your goals. Um,